Good morning, artists. Today, we are going to come back to the artwork that we started last week, which was all about patterns. And today, we are also going to be learning about how to create a heart using that pattern sheet that we made last week. So I'm going to move this artwork so we can remember what we did last week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here is an example of the pattern sheet that we worked on last week. We took a regular piece of paper, so you can see this is just a regular white piece of paper. We folded it in half and again, and then we made a different pattern on each section of the paper. Remember that a pattern is something that repeats. It might be lines that repeat. It might be shapes that repeat or it might be colors like red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Okay, so today we are going to take this beautiful artwork and we're actually going to transform it into something else. And because Valentine's Day is coming up, it's always a good time to practice making hearts. So I'm gonna show you first on a piece of regular paper. So you may wanna practice this before you actually do anything to your artwork, okay? I always like to practice on another piece of paper just to be sure that I can make my mistakes here and then have the practice so that I can do it better. All right, so on a piece of regular white paper, what I'm gonna do is once again, I'm just gonna fold it in half. So you wanna line up your edges. Usually I put, put it down on the, on the table and then I push the edges together and then press back. Here, I need to be more in the center here so that you can see. So I line up my edges right here, down to here, and then I push back to make the crease. Okay, so you can see mine is a little bit off. If it's a little bit off, it's no big deal. It's still gonna work. So next, we're gonna practice making a half a heart. We're gonna use the half a heart shape to then create the whole shape. So on another piece of paper, I'm just gonna show you something kind of cool. All right, so we all know that, move this, a heart shape, looks like this, okay? And if I were to cut it in half, do you notice that this side is the same as this side or pretty close, right? So if we folded that, they would match up. That's called something having symmetry, right? So heart is, the heart shape is a great shape to practice this. So check this out. We are going to focus just on the half a heart shape today, just this shape right here. Now the cool thing about it, what I like to tell my students is, is that it kind of looks like a, an ear. So check it out. Doesn't that kind of look like an ear? You know, we can make a little earring too. There is half a heart shape. Another thing that a student noticed, and I agree, is that it kind of looks like part of a question mark. Right there, there's half a heart, right? Question mark. All right, so now, I have my folded piece of paper and I'm gonna practice making my half a heart shape. So I'm gonna use a marker um, so that, and actually I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna use a marker so that it will show up so you can see it best, but I would recommend using a pencil so that if you need to erase, you may. All right, so here's the key to making this work. This edge is the open edge. You do not want to draw on the open edge of your paper. This edge is the folded edge. Here is where we want to draw. So I'm gonna start with my pencil or my marker right at the fold. And I'm gonna make my curving ear shape or question mark come out and then come all the way down to a point. Now make sure that you stop before you get to the bottom of the paper. That is really key for what we're doing next. So here is my half a heart shape. Now. The coolest thing that happens next is you'll need a pair of scissors. Hold the paper with your other hand, the one that's not cutting, and then cut along the line. Now when you do that, just going nice and slowly, and I'm using my other hand to guide my cutting, 
I'm gonna come all the way around to where I started. Now check this out. When I open this up, I'm going to have a heart. Okay, see how it's the same on both sides? And it's that ear shape or that part of a question mark. And the other cool thing is, not only do I have this one heart, but I've got another one right here in the paper that I just cut it out of. All right, so now that we've had some practice, and if you need to practice a couple more times, feel free to do that. Now that we've had that practice, I'm gonna go to my pattern sheet of paper, and I'm just gonna fold it in half once, okay? Now, let's check ourselves again. Where is the open edge? Oh, it's over here. So I need to find the folded edge. It's right here. I'm gonna draw my half a heart shape right here. So I'm gonna use a pencil this time and I'm going to draw my curving shape coming all the way over here and then coming to a point down here. Okay, and now I'm going to take my scissors and cut along that line as best I can. Go slow and use your other hand to help you with the cutting. All right, next, let's check out our pattern heart. How cool is that? It's already an amazing artwork. So I've got one heart. Let's check out the other one. Now I've got another one. Look at this cool background paper that I created. All right, so now what you will need is you'll need two pieces of colored paper, or it could just be white if that's all you have on hand. Um, whatever you have is fine. So what I'm gonna do, I have a piece of red paper, and I'm gonna take my patterned heart, I'm just gonna flip it over. I have a glue stick here, or liquid glue could work too. Make sure you turn it up just a little bit. And then what I like to do is kind of trace my shape first so I know that I have it on all edges. Then get a, quite a bit in the middle there. Now I'm gonna flip it over, place it down. I'm gonna try to center it as best I can. And then I'm gonna smooth it out with my hands. And there is my beautiful heart artwork. Okay, but I don't just get one out of this project. I get two because I still have this beautiful background sheet with the cutout. So now I'm gonna take another piece of colored paper or if you have white, that works too. And I'm gonna glue this down here. So I'm gonna flip it over. This one's a little bit trickier because the paper is gonna be a little bit, it's gonna wanna move around on you. It's a little bit more fragile too because you've cut out of the center. So just hold it down and go all around your edges so that it will stick down. And then I'm going to flip it and line up my edges. This may take you a couple of tries. I know with me it usually does. I might have to peel it back up and then re-center it. Oh, I think I got it. I'm just gonna smooth it out there. Smooth it out down here and along my edges. All right, now I have this beautiful pattern background with the heart in the middle, and I've got this artwork with the pattern heart here. Both of them, which I really love. So, kind of a fun way to practice patterns as well as practicing cutting out that heart shape. Have fun with this, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. And I hope that you all have a wonderful vacation. Take care, everyone.